Hi everybody, I am FGSL and I will show you a structure of a Luminous project. I am using Visual Studio Code as an integrated development environment, but Luminous doesn't require a specific ID. You can use what you want. Well, on the left, you can see a node named My First Luminous Project. This folder was created by a composer. There's a video in this channel explaining this. In this folder, you have some subfolders BIM for storing scripts, scripts for repetitive tests, config folder for storing configuration. There are some files here, application config PHP for production environment, development config PHP for, as the name suggests, for the development environment, modules config PHP with the list of enable modules. There are a module folder with the application modules, but uh, if a module is inside the module folder, but is not listed in the modules config PHP file, this module won't work. Well, inside the config folder, there's also a subfolder named autoload. In this autoload folder, you can find a global PHP file with the configuration for all environments and a template for a local PHP file for your particular, your private configuration. Well, a module for Lumnus is a, it's like a, a, a subsystem, it's like a sub-application. A module has a MVC structure. You can see that module has a config folder with the module configuration. Um, there is a SRC folder. SRC stands for source. In this folder, you have a controller folder and you can create a model folder if you need it. Then you, then SRC folder is for controller and model layers of MVC pattern, but you can have several layers in your application. The view layer of an MVC pattern has a specific folder. In this folder, you have subfolders for pages, HTML pages. Uh, um, a Lumnus module uses the controller page pattern. Then, each one of the controller classes has a folder inside the view folder. Index controller class has a index folder inside the view folder for pages controlled by index controller class. Well, beyond module folder, you can see a public folder. This is the point of entry, the point of access for your application. Your clients must access the files inside this folder and only this file in a direct way. Index.php file contains the 
call for application class. Lambda's application class does the inversion of control and take care of your application. It's the Hollywood principle. You don't call the Lambda's components. Lambda's components call your code. Well, If you have any questions about this structure, please write in the comments. Thank you for watching this video.